Alright, welcome back to Pokemon Soul Silver Randomized. We are here on top of Tin Tower, also known as Bell Tower. We're gonna encounter Ho Oh, or whatever this is. Let's see. That's a Rapidash. And level 70 Rapidash. We're gonna kill that, of course. Um, so off screen, I did a bit of Elite Four grinding. Not a huge amount. Well, it's kind of a big amount. But not... I didn't, like, get everybody up to level 100. And also, I activated a cheat to get 900 of each ball because I... In order to get the rematch against Lieutenant Surge, I have to capture the Zapdos in... Uh, or at the power plant. But I don't know if the game will register me capturing the Pokemon if it's not Zapdos, which is a very good chance that it won't be. Also, I have to have a Pikachu. I have to walk with a Pikachu. And the, the Pokedex does not update correctly on randomizers. It just shows the vanilla locations, so I have no way of tracking Pikachu. Assuming one is even capturable in this seed. So, yeah. So I had, instead of uh, bothering with trying to capture a bunch of crap, um, or relying on RNG, I just hacked in a bunch of Master Balls. Obviously, Master Balls is what I wanted from that cheat. So. Alright, so now... First things first, we'll go to Vermilion City because Suicune is here after encountering it outside Mount Mortar somewhere, apparently. I've never actually done the the Isween Suicune side quest. I've never actually done that before, like 100%. I did up to just outside... The encounter outside Mount Mortar, and that is it. I also don't know how to trigger... Uh! Okay, well, I guess... Oh, wait a minute, hold on. Did I disable those cheats? Uh, let me look. Do -do -do. Nope, I did not disable the cheat. Okay, hold on, remove. I was thinking for a moment this happened to be a legit Pikachu. But no. Oh, Magnazone. I would love to use you. Uh, let's just super repel. So, where might... Where might Suicune be? Luck Incense. It is supposed to be in Vermilion City, right? There it is. Goodbye. That was so close. I thought I could corner it by ambushing it here, but running on the water is beyond me. I'm starting to see a pattern. Suicune prefers water. That means... Sorry, TRG, I got to go. Alright, so... Next, it'll appear here on this route. And by the way, I did look this up before recording this segment, so... So, I'm not sure... I'm not sure what'll happen if I go to Cerulean Cape next. Like, after encountering the Suicune. Or before. Like, I'm gonna trigger the Misty cutscene before triggering the next Suicune event. And we'll fight this guy. You're still light years from facing Brock. Oh, okay. I guess, uh, I guess he doesn't say that anymore. Right on. Lapras. Goodbye. And rip. And it was crit. 
bye bye. I have to win these battles. Yeah, you do. And there is a hiker. We're gonna put Mrs. Krabs in the front. I am still planning on using Mrs. Krabs for some guillotine cheese. Roar crash. Edwin sent out a golem, which will get one-shotted by Crab Hammer. Wow, it's not often we get a challenger from Johto. I'm Brock, the pewter gym leader. I'm an expert on rock-type Pokemon. My Pokemon are impervious to most, atta most physical attacks, unless they're physical or grass, because Game Freak changed the way physical special works. You'll have a hard time inflicting any damage, come on! Now, I do know that was the original dialogue in uh, Gold, Silver, Crystal. So. Crab Hammer. Seriously. I will, of course, not speed up uh, the Gym Leader music because A, A, the Gym Leader remake music is awesome, and B, on top of being awesome, it is an important battle. Critical. Wow, that was some bullshit RNG. Fuck you too. Have fun healing, Brock. You're not gonna defeat me. I can out... I can out-attrition you big time. With my 99 revives. Oh, come on. Now you're just delaying the inevitable. In before critical or flinch. <laughs> I'm actually really surprised it didn't flinch right there. Goodbye, Cubby Tops. Rhyhorn. Wait, was it this Rhydon originally? Or did he just have a Rhyhorn? Huh. I actually don't remember. Onyx. I do remember him having an Onyx. Okay, now... Okay. I knew Onyx had a really low physical attack. That's why I risked that. Bye-bye, Onyx. And Omastar. Coincidentally, this is like the one time where my Sunflora would actually be useful. Okay, 
Okay, ancient power. Stat boost. Okay. Now I know Omastar has a base speed of around 50 or so. I think it is actually 50. It's either 50 or 55, which is lower than Lapras. And you're gonna use another full restore. Please no speed boost. Please no boost. Okay. Ow, 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 ow. You're gonna run out of full restores eventually, Brock. And when you do... When you do, you'll have to confer the boulder badge to me. And you're done. Looks like you're the stronger one. Pokemon's powerful attacks overcame my rock hard resistance. You're stronger than expected. Bum 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 bum. Okay, so I don't think anyone can learn Rock Slide other than. Uh, iron, rather than, um, Macargo. And... Uh, oh, Mrs. Krabs can learn it. Alright, let's, uh... Thinking we get rid of Slam. Because... Slam is kind of worthless. And I know for a fact that uh, Sunflora can't learn that. Even if it could, it wouldn't be able to make use of it. Because it's so bad. What a surprise, right? Sunflora is a bad Pokemon. Please come back again when I'm not working. All right, now to Cerulean Cape. A to trigger Misty, and B to allow Suicune to appear. I think if I think if you haven't gotten to Misty, and you are at that stage in the Suicune fight, um, I think you just get the Suicune, and Misty's not there. Either that or the Suicune won't be there until Misty runs away. Back to Cerulean Gym where she belongs. Beat six people. Uh, stomp! I'm surprised effects four didn't happen there. Crab Hammer. Critical hit. Ellen sent out a grand bowl. Okay. <laughs> I won't be easy sends out a... Actually, Tangela is a little bit of a problem. Send out Butterfree. Tangela has some decent physical defense, but low special defense. Oh my god! I did not expect an ancient power. Please don't kill me, please don't kill me, please don't kill me! Why can't I get criticals when I need them? Actually, I think I did once in this playthrough. That was some bullshit. That was some grade A major league bullshit. Butterfree. Bug Buzz! 
Bug Buzz! Bug Buzz! Alright, Tangela. Level 71. Er, not Tangela, but. Vaporeon. Okay, so Lapras. That has no, basically no effect. I'll stomp you. Oh, will you now, kid? Ch Camper Lloyd, Nitto King. I'll stomp you with a crab hammer. Assuming you hit what you did, Poison Point will trigger, I bet. Poison Point? No, surprisingly. And double battle. Ah, uh, this is gonna be a double battle. Goldie will use Surf and heal Lapras. I'm number five, getting tired. I'm the last in line, but I tell you I'm tough. Laura and Shannon. Gloom and Paris. Well, this uh, this calls for a pair of ice beams. I will say, I'm glad I did not get a Parasect. Because that would be possibly even worse than Sunflora. The only good thing Parasect has going for it is the fact that it can learn Spore. That's literally it. Because it's a guaranteed sleep status. Awesome Paris. I lost two. You're kidding. Alright, now to put Mrs. Krabs back. In case you can't tell, I'm just trying to power up Mrs. Krabs to level 100. Like, I'm going all in on that. And I don't have cut on me. I don't care. <laughs> I have nothing to do with the six-pack trainers. I waited here to beat you when you were all tired out by the battles. Well, unfortunately for you, I grinded the Elite Four. And all you have is a Porygon. Hmm. Guillotine. Strength! <laughs> I love using Guillotine randomly like that. Goodbye. <sighs> Boy. Super Nerd Pat, aren't you tired at all? Bird Keeper. He took on more. Oh. And won the Nugget. Isn't this officially called Nugget Bridge later? Or in Gen 1? I think it might actually be.
clank. Charmeleon, Crab Hammer. Okay, so Mrs. Krabs is either going to die, or he's, she's going to kill this thing completely and utterly. Mm. There. Out. Yeah, yeah. So here's Bill. Er, no, Bill's grandpa. As Johto told me about a Pokemon that has a long tongue. It has ring-like marks on the front of its legs. So yeah, you give... You show this guy Pokemon and he'll give you an evolutionary stone. And some nerd. Oh, why'd you have to show up and bug us now? Do you know what they call people like you? Pest! Oh, those badges you have. Are they Johto Gym badges? If you have eight, you must be good. Then come to Cerulean Gym. I'm Misty, the gym leader in Cerulean. So, yeah. And now we make our way back. Back to Cerulean. I know I could just trigger the next Suicune encounter, but... I'd rather just get Misty out of the way since I've already triggered this event. You are going to fly back to... Uh, whoops, wrong city. Or wait, what am I doing? No. I, I It's time to defeat Misty. Get out of the way. Alright, so I'm certainly not going to bother with all the swimmers. I'll defeat the sailor, sure. Glove, I'm first. Come and get me. Challenged by Parker, Horsey, Stomp, Seedra, Poison Point. Okay, I was ex I'm fully expecting Poison Point to occur. I've been relaxing poolside, so I've got enough strength. Azumarill, Stomp, Stomp. Alright, I managed to ninja my way through them. I was expecting you, you pest. You may have a lot of Johto Gym badges, but you better not take me too lightly. My water-type Pokémon are tough. <laughs> Challenged by Leader Misty. Golduck. Lapras, or Mrs. Krabs is going to use Rock Slide. Misty does have a Lapras. Yep, there's the Lapras. I want to try and keep Mrs. Krabs out for the Quag Sire. So I could just maybe guillotine it. Ha! Ah, for once, RNG did not screw me. So I'm not sure how Mrs. Krabs can learn Stomp, unless it stomps with its big uh, pincer. Which it could do. 
Starmie, you're going to use, even though, oh, I'm surprised Mrs. Krabs outspeeds Starmie. Starmie is fast. Thunderbolt? Freeze hacks? I, I, I fucking called it. Don't you live. Nice. Okay, for once, critical hits actually help me. And the Quagsire. This thing is relatively beefy, but... Hmm? Does this thing have Swift Swim? I don't think it does. It has Water Absorb. I know that. Goodbye. Misty, looks like this is it. You really are good, I'll admit you're skilled. It's the Cascade Badge. Ba bum ba ba bum ba bum. TMO3, that's probably Water Pulse. Yeah. All right, so I su I think that disables all the trainers here. Let's see. Yep, very good. Next up, we'll yeah, we'll trigger the next Suicune event. What do you want? Blah, blah, blah. Uh, by the way, I figure out what, uh, what hotkey Y is on the keyboard. It's A. Alright, now next one is, or next Suicune encounter is on this route. I want to avoid as many battles as possible to trigger the... to keep... I want to avoid as many encounters as possible so this doesn't take too awfully long. Especially given that I don't know the exact coordinates of where to go. Uh, can I avoid this? Route 14. Oh. I had a hard time catching my prize Pokemon. Yeah, no shit you did. Uh. Zen headbutt. Uh, let's do psychic, because I don't want to trigger poison point. Or risk it. Blah 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 blah. Okay, well, that was a dead end. Oh, hello. That was lucky.
TRG, not again. I'll be there first next time. Having followed it here, I'm starting to understand what Suicune is after. I'd like to keep this information. But I want to be an honest trainer in front of Suicune. That's why I'm sharing a clue with you. It seems that for a hilly place near water, somewhere north, you will find it first. I challenge you. Well, I am psychic. I have knowledge of where this is. So I will beat you there. Also, I have a po I have a four pound bird who can fly a ninety pound boy over <laughs> over the entirety of Kanto to get to get to where Suicune is. But Gyarados cannot learn fly. It's a five hundred pound uh, aquatic serpent monster with wings. It's a bee doof! Yes, it's a bee doof! Puff Puff, I am no match for you, as predicted. Since I meet you at Burn Tower, I've sort of known that Suicune would choose you. Suicune is waiting for you. It has been waiting for a battle worthy of a trainer to whom it can entrust itself. Oh, it's Beaveral! So, well, whatever. I bet I don't even need a Master Ball. Let's just. I wonder if you have dialogue for killing it versus capturing it. You are truly amazing. I've never seen a battle this intense. I have no regrets. Farewell. Um, actually, I think... Can you recapture Suicune? I think you can. The other ones are just dead for good. I could be wrong. Uh, let's go back to Vermilion. Oh, man. All right. Oh, oh. Do, 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 Uh, do we need cut for this? Okay, no, we don't. I thought we didn't. I didn't think we needed cut for this. Stop this. Uh, let's see. What? Who do I? I guess we'll put Macargo in the front, question mark? Okay. Lieutenant Surge saw my potential with Electric-type Pokémon. Think you can beat me? I'm gonna take you down. Prepare to be shocked. Jolteon Electrode. Uh, that's not good. Stealth Rock, I guess. Uh... Zen head butt ice beam actually no Zen head butt electrode even though I think electrode has static Ice Beam Electrode. Get it out of here, please. I am very much glad that the... Uh, AI is choosing to be silly. Oh, Shockwave does... Wait, does Shockwave not hit the partner? I thought it did. Huh. Oh, well. Ah, uh, no. Electrodes. Hmm. Uh. Send headbutt, I guess. I know for a fact Jolteon does not have static by default. It normally has, uh, Volt Absorb. Oh! Speaking of... Okay, it does actually hit. It does hit. Shockwave does hit it. Unless it just targeted itself to make use of uh, Volt Absorb. 
but uh, it died anyway, so your sacrifice was in vain, young Electrode. Okay, my cargo's switching out to Lapras. Goldie is now going to use Surf on everybody. That was close. Rip Electrode. And Rip Voltor. Now it's time to kill, kill this last guy one on one? Or one on two? Electrode, I'm guessing. Ice Beam, Full Restore, Goldie. Alright. Actually surprised at how much damage that did. Uh, so, so how was this puzzle? How did this puzzle work originally? Is it wasn't it just like once you find the first switch, the second switch could be in one of uh, four cardinal directions. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna use save states for this one. It was like, you had a 1 in 4 chance of discovering which one was the real one. Or, which one was the second one after you activated the first one. Okay. Save state. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Um. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, uh, this might be bad. Let's drop a save state first. Uh. Oh, thank God. I thought my save might have been fucked, because I used cheats. Hey, you little tyke. I'm a, it may not be very smart to t challenge me, but it takes guts. When it comes to electric Pokemon, I'm number one. I've never lost on the battlefield. I'll zap you just like I did do to all my enemies in battle. Alright, Lieutenant Surge. Right, you. Isn't Lieutenant Surge, like, ten feet tall in the anime? I think he is. Uh, let's see... Flamethrower? You know, I was thinking that might happen. I, obviously, I didn't call it, but I was thinking this is going to be a critical. Static, please don't hit. 
Okay, good. Okay. Oh, this is gonna... This is gonna hurt. Lieutenant Surge sent out an electrode. Okay, there's static. Is it gonna have a manette trick this time? No. And yes, for the record, I knew manette trick wasn't in Gen 3. Er, wasn't in Gen 2, obviously. But I was wondering if they might have added that for the first encounter. Ooh. I'm sorry, Mrs. Krabs. Uh, Lapras. I know none of these are particularly good options, but I think the La I think Lapras is the least bad option. <laughs> uh. Oh, low kick. I was not expecting that. Also, that light screen is going to be pretty nasty to deal with. So, is the AI just picking low kick because it knows that Lapras is weak to it, or does it know that La low kick potentially does the most damage? I actually don't know how far the AI goes with stuff like that. Well, I think, uh, I think Shockwave did more damage, so I think I just answered my own question. Finally! How much HP do you have? 90... I don't know, can I survive this? Don't critical. Okay. Alright. Either I'm gonna kill this thing, or he's gonna run out of full restores. I'm not sure. Uh. <sighs> no, we're, we're not sitting through this again. Revive. Mrs. Krabs. Yeah, I don't have time for that. Well, actually, I do have time for this, but I'm not dealing with it. I'm gonna have to buy some more full restores. I may grind up the Elite Four until I have 99 full restores. Please do less than a hundred! Mother fuck.
please kill. Okay, thank God. Probably Magneton, I'm guessing. Magneton, yep. So I could probably outspeed Mrs. Krabs. Or outspeed Magneton here. Okay. Okay, Lieutenant Surge's beat. My electric trick. Arg, you're too strong. Okay, kid, you get the Thunder Badge. Thunder Badge suits those who've defeated me. Take good care of it, okay? I have a great TM for you. Presumably Shockwave. Yep. When you go north, you'll see a big... Yep. City called Saffron. Alright, well... I was gonna... I was planning on doing all the gym leaders this segment, but this segment's already gone 46 minutes. I am not about to play... I'm not about to keep this going any longer. So, I'm gonna end the segment here. Save the game. And I will see you guys next time, and I'll, of course, do some off-screen grinding.